All right, folks, I just wanna show you my next project I got on the go here. What you're looking at here, uh, not this, I'm talking about this. This is Old Dirty. Old Dirty's giving me some more backdrop support here because uh, I'm making her useful. But this is a Peugeot PX10. And what that is, and I didn't know this previously, but my customer filled me in on a little bit of history about this. And I found it quite interesting that in the 60s and 70s, the Peugeot PX10 was uh, quite a coveted road bike. In fact, it was even used in the Tour de France and certain uh, road racing circuits and things like that. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, give it a little resto work here. Now my customer did some polishing work on the chrome. I gotta say, bud, you did a pretty nice job there. The original color was a white, sort of a French cream white, I guess you would call it. And uh, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna add a little bit of pearl white. I'm also gonna do a little bit of a uh, little bit of scroll work around the welds and whatnot. Uh, probably some pinstriping. We'll see what I can come up with there. And uh, the blast work here. This is uh, give you a little close up on this. This is what I can accomplish for you if you want anything blasted. Give us a call here. Bring your stuff to the shop. I can take care of that for you. I can mask, obviously. Nice sharp lines there, right? Wanted to give you a shot of that. Show you what we can do here with the blaster. And I'm gonna show you what I can do with the paint here in a little bit. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm uh, all done here with the clear coat. I'm really happy with how things turned out. Everything laid down really, really nicely. I had the primer, uh, base coat white, and then I did a uh, pearl over top of that base coat and then two coats of clear. Now what I'm gonna do, the reason I'm wearing gloves is because the clear coat's very, very fresh. I don't wanna get fingerprints in it. It's about a day old, so um, I'm gonna be doing some uh, embellishments on this uh, with the pinstripe brush. In order to do that, I need to demask everything. I'm gonna take all this off and then I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do. This is gonna get pretty cool. Check this out. All right, I got everything unmasked. My cut lines are sharp. No overspray, no uh, peeling when I took my mask off. That means everything is really set down nice. Now I'm gonna start the fun part. I'm gonna do a bunch of pinstriping on this. And uh, Old Dirty here is going to provide some uh, moral support and backdrop. One second, I better put down a little bit of a barrier there. Hold on. All right, that's a bit better. Here's what I'm going to do. All of these um, joints here, where the tube connects to these fittings, I'm going to do some pinstriping around the edges of that stuff. The reason I'm going to use this one is because it's got a short bristle length and uh, Relatively, I would say, stiff construction. That means I'm gonna be able to get into those tight radiuses really well. I'm not gonna have anything flopping around. That's gonna work really good. All right, I got my color mixed up here. It's a nice metallic gold. Let's hit it.
I just want to give you guys one more close-up of this before I close out this video. And uh, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Look at all that pearl white pops in the light, eh? Never done one like this before. And you know what? I got to thinking. I was looking at my mess over here with uh, Old Dirty as the backdrop. I got to thinking, you know, back in the day, in the 70s, I bet you, being that this is actually labeled Sunset Gold, that was the color. I bet you she was rocking a little something closer to that in her prime, hey? But, uh, well, alas, her disco days are long gone, eh? Oh, she needs a bath too, holy. <laughs>